Hello again, welcome to another edition of Inside Campbell Sports. I'm Chris Haymeyer, and what a weekend it was for the CU baseball team. Baseball racking up wins number 36, 37, and 38, thanks to a three-game sweep of Radford in Big South Conference play. Hector Sedano went eight and a third innings and got a shutout victory on the final game of the series. He left it to Ryan Mattis, who got his third save in as many games. Mattis now has the CU single season save record. Here's reaction from after that final win. I didn't really strike out too many people. It was just basically ground balls and fly balls, and I have to thank my outfield and infield to uh, step up today and play defense. You can't have, have great records like this without having an amazing season as a team. You know, with, with starting pitchers that put you in that position to have the save and hitters that also put you in that position, you know, you, you need everything in order to, to beat a great record like that. And it, it, means, it means everything to me that I can put my footprint on this organization. We're really blessed. You know, our guys really played well. Just, just fantastic pitching and defense today and had some timely hitting. Rafford's got a great club. The series could have went either way. I feel like those guys could have won two out of three. Uh, just as much as we swept. So it was a great series, very competitive, and uh, we'll see those guys again, uh, I'm sure. I thought that we played well. I think, you know, we played great defense. Our pitching kept us in the ball game. You know, it's been a while since we hadn't made a air in a series, you know, and we came out strong, you know, battling for second place. And, you know, I think we you know, really played, you know, close, you know, to our potential this weekend. We really played well. Uh, our guys, I think, are starting to see kind of the finish line there. And, uh, you know, they're playing hard. They compete every day. I thought this weekend we did a great job offensively with a two-strike approach, hit a lot of two-strike hits. And uh, man, our pitchers just really, really made the pitches when they had to. When guys got in scoring position, those guys, I felt like, really elevated their game and, and uh, made some really good pitches and got us out of some big jams. Campbell Baseball is now all alone in second place in the Big South Conference. They will take on Presbyterian this weekend here at Bowie's Creek, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. The last games of the regular season as baseball goes for 40 wins. The women's golf team showed up very well at the NCAA East Regionals over the weekend. The women's golf team finished 10th. Out of 24 teams, Michelle Coe, the lone senior on the Campbell women's golf team, was 10th out of 125 individuals, one of the best NCAA showings by a CU golfer in the school's history. Now it's on to the men. Vita Guillaume heads to the regionals for the second straight year. He is currently in the top 10 in the country in low score average. Vita is the Big South golfer of the year. He talked about that, the regional, and getting his diploma. It's always nice when you know, after four years of, of hard work, you, you end up having the highest title for the conference as an individual. So uh, I guess I should, I should be happy about it. I am. He's definitely going to be on the, on the event. I have about a week uh, to prepare and, and be ready, but uh, no, I'll just take it as another tournament. That's all you can do. You can't put too much pressure on yourself. So uh, you know, I'll go out there and uh, obviously do my best. And add to the excitement uh, of this week, uh, you're graduating as well, so that has to be a thrill for you. It is. It is. Uh, you know, I've wanted to be out of school for a while, but uh, you know, you have to make mom happy with the diploma, so <laughs> you have to stay. So now, I, now I'm going to have it. I know I didn't fail my, fail my class, so, uh, you know, it's all good. In their first full year at the Irwin Belk track, the track and field team here at Campbell University set many personal and school records. The new track is a big reason why. Our Campbell student, Emily McIntosh, took a closer look at the track and the impact it'll have on this season and beyond. Set. First year track and field coach Norbert Elliott is impressed with Campbell's Irwin Belk track. I've been to many tracks and this track here is without a doubt uh, as, as good or at par with any track in, in the nation. Elliott should know. A former Olympian and coach at the national and major college level, he's been to a lot of tracks and knows what a great facility means to a program. Whenever you bring in a, 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 a top-notch kid, a male or female, the first thing they want to see is they want to see where they're going to be training. And to, to bring them out here and to see our lovely facility just adds, it makes it that much easier and, and adds to the uh, advantage over some of the other schools in the conference. The one-year-old facility will help the future, but current Camel upperclassmen truly appreciate the track's impact on their training. It brings a lot of excitement for the team. Maybe the freshmen and maybe the sophomores don't really understand now, but 
as a senior and a junior, having a rubberized track is like a great addition. Generous donors helped fund the $1 million project, including the man whose name hangs on the front entrance. Well, I tell you what, uh, I'm really grateful to uh, the Irwin Belk family, particularly Mr. Irwin Belk himself, uh, for uh, d providing funds for this track. This is a first class facility, and uh, we hope to have some really good competitive Division I schools in here to showcase our beautiful facility. From Bowie's Creek, I'm Emily McIntosh. Join us next week on Inside Campbell Sports. We'll preview the Big South Conference Baseball Tournament and get you up to date on everything happening at CU Athletics. You can always follow along online at GoCamels.com. I'm Chris Amire saying so long. We'll see you next week on Inside Campbell Sports.